What are the ERP implementation phases and life cycles? ERP implementation is divided into various stages which is one of the most important area. To understand if you are planning for an ERP system for your business, this presentation will help you to understand what steps to be taken at each stages with complete responsibilities in your organization. Stage 1. ERP Selection Phase, where you need to choose the right ERP software that fits your business needs. Stage 2. Discovery and Project Planning. Once the software is selected, the discovery and planning phase starts. This includes functionality freezing of an ERP software with onboarding right team for the project and so on. Discovery and planning phase typically involves various steps such as defining the project scope, conducting a needs analysis, final selection of an ERP vendor, developing of a project plan, technically and functionality wise, define business processes, data migration plan from current spreadsheets or legacy software and develop a training plan. Stage 3. Design phase. The design phase works from detailed requirements and understanding of current workflows to develop, with a detailed design for the new ERP system. This includes designing new and more efficient workflows and other business processes that provides you with advantage of ERP system. One of the most important area is to involve users in the design phase. Since they know better about current business processes, stage 4 gap analysis. Gap analysis stage for ERP is performed to evaluate and compare the current system of the company future position. With gap analysis you can easily identify the key processes that needs most attention with ERP and come with potential solution after analyzing the mission critical processes. Stage 5 Re-Engineering The re-engineering phase of an ERP implementation project involves analyzing and redesigning business processes to align with the functionalities of the organization's workflows and business processes. This phase typically occurs after the gap analysis, or after the planning and design phases or maybe before the development phase. During the re-engineering phase, the project team identifies existing business processes and understands their effectiveness and efficiency, and determines how they can be improved. Stage 6, Development Phase, which is one of the largest phase compared to all other phases mentioned in this video. As proper coding and developing the modules within the ERP system is importantly required. In this phase most of the task is handled by the technical coders, and functional resource who ensure the list of functions that the organization is looking for has been understood properly and implemented correctly. Stage 7, Testing Phase, where end-to-end -end flows of an ERP software is tested, by the specialized testing team. Testing of the system may also be needed from the actual user side. Stage 8, Implementation of an ERP. Once the testing of the software is completed on a local server, implementation is the stage where the actual use of software starts. This phase may include addition of real data from the business instead of test cases. In this phase data from legacy system migration may take place. Stage 9. Training to actual users. Training is one of the most important phase from the above as this is where the team start using the solution that has been developed and tested. Training schedule can be done in iterations. Training can be functional to the business users or technical if required to remove the dependencies from the vendor. Stage 10. Maintenance. This phase also includes support and hand-holding to the existing and new user of the company. In maintenance phase updates and upgrades may happen if there are any auto-updates to the ERP module set by the ERP vendor. We hope you liked this presentation. For more information on implementing ERP software email us on sales at subscribe Global Techs and click the bell icon for more videos.